Hi guys, this is Delaware Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the kids' jigsaw puzzle. It's a game. We call it jigsaw. You know, uh, this is a particular game. You no know, predominant to kids, whereby they, they tend to set uh, some pieces of uh, uh, shapes. You know, to form different stuff. Uh, example like games of this nature, the jigsaw of this nature. You know, they get to set up these different pieces, you know, into each other. Some may form um, uh, uh, the picture of probably a bird or an image, you know, with different pieces of this nature. All right, we're going to be creating an application that is going to actually imitate this stuff of, uh, of design and it's going to be in the game, you know. So I'll be going straight to Android Studio, which is the development environment, where I'm going to show the display. Of the year of the application okay all right uh it is how the game is going to actually look like which is the launch of the game you know telling you to play you know there's the first screen activity of this particular uh, application all right i'll be going further in explaining some other modules of the application uh the xmls and also the java classes okay uh before i proceed let's look at our view gradle what the way including the dependencies we only have the version 4 and the google admobs that's if you want to monetize this uh, particular application uh in the project settings we only have the class part the build gradle 1.5.0 that's fine let's look at our uh, xml the first screen activity which we saw earlier we'll be going to the text to actually see what formulates uh that ui screen that relative layout there is a persistent drawing cache which is all where the orientation is vertical uh, we have a linear layout you know with a gravity of center horizontal and with, and the orientation also vertical right inside is this linear layout we have a relative layout you know which holds an image view of the back image you know calling from image id rather calling from the tribal background welcome and the button, which uh, actually holds on to the drawable selector apps, okay? That's the app button. We have another button uh, that's calling from the drawable, the about selector, that's for the about session. Another button is for the button settings. We have a relative layout right inside this relative layout. It's not closed yet. With the LT about as an ID, and the visibility will be gone. It has an image view of image view 2, calling for the drawable about us text background, and a button of about, that's the back button of the about. Another button holds on to the more, which are being aligned appropriately. I hope you understand the, this form of layout align left, which is calling the ID, which is sitting uh, aligned to the left of the image view 2. The same thing goes to the align top. That's just what it indicates. We have another button of the WW. That closed the relative layout. We open another relative layout for the settings. Okay. It has an image view of image settings. A linear layout follows uh, with a rotation of vertical. While the align left and top are set appropriately to the image settings. A relative layout followed afterwards. Sign and ID call relative layout 03 with an image view called image view ID calling from the drawable settings text display grid. The same thing goes for the button, button 1. We close up the relative layout. Uh, we have another relative layout, you know, with relative layout 02. Image view, the button, button 2 for the layout 01. Image view 2, button 3, what is the IDs? We have another one for the layout 04, image view 07 as an ID, and button 8 as an ID as well. Okay, we have a linear layout with linear layout 01 as the ID, the rotation is vertical. A relative layout sits right inside it with relative layout 07. An image view follows with image view 06. A button of button 5, okay? A relative layout also with 
calculate a layout 06 and image view appropriately with this button. All right, they are just like diff having different uh, layout which which are relative. You know, we have the 06, we have the 05, we have the 02 up to the 01. Okay, let's look at the button, the button settings for the more. For the WW for the relative layout O2 and also for the button play, you know, that gives the design of this nature. You know, we have to call this in a while. They are uh they're about the play, you know, they are about sign. This is for the info, you know, all this text design brought about this layout with the appropriate variable file. So we have for the large screen, you know, that's for tabs. We have for the small screen, that's for mobile. And for the extra large, that's the bigger tabs, you know, for bigger tabs. You know, we actually call the XML for different layouts. So it's going to work fine with different layouts. Let's look at the values where we have our strings. Okay, URI. Okay, URI app link, you know. And your own button, the puzzle layout, and your puzzle done. You know. All right, we have the animation folder, the inanim, where we have the interpolator, accelerator. Okay, and for the out, same thing goes. So it has a duration. All right, let's look at our drawable folders. A lot of drawable files to talk about. We have the A part PNG for the two. The all drawable folder uh, files that pick up the pieces to make up this game application. Okay, you can lay your hands on it. Source code will be uploaded anyway. So let's go to our Java classes, the main activity, which is the launcher activity, where we get to uh, import the animation, the animation set, the animation it is, the scale, the button, the gallery. Linear layout and relative layout widgets. The main activity extends activity. We have a lot of views here. The image view, image fix, image touch, uh, root view, the bottom pre that's previous, next, previous one, the next one. All right, so all set appropriately in front of the screen, width and height. Okay. We have an array list of the image list, the puzzle list, the point list, and the random list. Therefore, the current x value and the current y value in integer. Okay. We have for the animation, the animation down and the animation up. Our create method actually calls on the window feature no site. It sets its flag with a full screen. We're going to have a full screen. Calling from the layout main XML. Now with the shapes, the friends fields, image fields, call on the appropriate IDs, the button, the image home, and the you know calling on the appropriate IDs to it. Get the ID by ID. Same thing goes to the current point with the shape it with a new point. The array list image also with a new array list. Likewise goes for the point list, the image list, the random list, and the pause list. Now we get the data from the get resources and get configuration. As a try and catch method, you know, and get a class, get a declared field with an exception. No such field exception or related stuff. Now an if statement is the screen type equals to one. That's a read CSV uh, class, which is being instantiated, where we get this context with the puzzle list. And the SC, if it's two, the appropriate puzzle list. If it's three, the save the goals up to four. There's always going to be a shape reference so that uh, the, the state of the application will be kept. You know, the display grid for the sound, for the words, the vibrate drag, the vibrate high, and also the restart pause. Okay, that's that for the uh, Java class. This is the main activity. The same 
For the button next, you set an on-click listener to this. For the button previous, you set an on-click listener to it. Same thing goes for the button next one. All right. Where we have the initialize puzzle method. That's the init view. Okay. All right. Um, let's look at the custom shared preference. Okay. Where we have the shared prayer, the app context. We have the static void in it, and the refresh method, all holding on to different uh, cache of the application. That's right, for the first screen, which has the views of bottom, more back settings, the settings one, two, two, eight. And the operate method where we actually instantiated all these and set the on click listener to it appropriately, you know, with its shared preferences, you know. So if statement goes on, if it's zero, you set the background resource. If the B is zero, the C up to H. Okay. You have the on click method. All right, uh, I'll be uploading the source code to my GitHub account. Let's look at the manifest quickly. Okay, in our manifest, we have the permissions for internet, for vibrate, and for access network space. Okay, where we call on the first screen, which is the launch activity, the main activity. And also, we call on the ads, uh, logo ad center activity. You can add that to this blown jigsaw uh, puzzle kit for kids application whereby you can even pick it up you can monetize it you can give it out for free i just want to share this with my good listener now ask for uh, an already made uh, application that can best as in quickening and learning in android programming all right I'll be showing this in my emulator. It is going to work fine. So I really implore you to uh, build it up and test it in a real device. All right? Okay, there's the jigsaw uh, puzzle. Sorry, it's kind of slanting in my emulator, but it's going to be fine on your real device. I've tested it. So let's click on play. Let's get it started. Okay. We're going to create sort of Okay. We're going to move all these pieces to form a uh, the right uh, shape on this white uh, portion. That is what you're going to do. You're going to move all these pieces to form the right picture. You know, you can be doing that all along. This is a game, which is quite interesting. Okay. It's not as we get in. It's going to just have to fit into this particular space well before you start to set it up. Okay, that's why it's going back. You need to pick a right shape. You need to pick a right shape. You, know? you need to select the right shape. This should go in here beautifully. Okay, you notice that? All right. So, also, this should go in here beautifully. I think it should be somewhere down here. Right here. I can't walk here. Okay, fine. It should be here. It should be somewhere here. Okay. All 
might uh, just pick up the source code, you know, try to build it up and also try to understand what the code is actually doing, you know, get a full grip of it and get going. Thank you very much for listening and hanging out with me throughout this uh, tutorial. Have a wonderful time and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.